Hi, this is Marla from Accommodating Table, and today we are making a really quick and easy and yet delicious balsamic tomato bruschetta. I start with a tablespoon of oil, which has already been in my skillet, so it's hot. And to that, I add one third cup onion. And this can literally be made from items that are in your pantry and in your freezer. And in my freezer, I always have some chopped onions because you never exactly use the full onion. So I just freeze that and it's perfectly fine to use. Um, and as I like to say, cry once because I'm very um, sensitive to the smell and taste of onions. Uh, cr cry once and use the onions more than, more than one time. So I am going to just get these a little sauteed in here. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to ask you a question. So how many of you, and be honest, have decided that it's just too much trouble to cook at home anymore? That it's so much easier to meet friends or family at restaurants because you have absolutely no idea what their dietary restrictions are or food allergies? Well, accommodatingtable.com has the answer for that. Okay, so let's add the rest of the ingredients. We're going to add one 15-ounce can of diced tomatoes. This is all over medium heat. And we're going to let that just cook the liquid off just a little bit, you know, maybe just a few minutes. So, the way accommodatingtable.com allows you to break out the good china again is because it matches your guests' food preferences and dietary restrictions against a delicious suite of recipes that allows you to cook one meal for everyone. How many times have you decided, oh, I need to cook three entrees because I've got someone who's a vegetarian, I've got someone else who has a peanut allergy, I've got someone else who is gluten-free. This allows you to, to run all of their food preferences in a profile against this suite of recipes and you can make the same thing for everyone so that everyone's eating the same items and I think that's really important when you talk about community around a table. Okay, this is looking good. We've got a lot of the juice that's already um, evaporating off and now we are going to add all of the other ingredients. So we want to add a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, a tablespoon of regular sugar, We want to add um, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of either uh, Italian seasonings, or you can use a half a teaspoon of dried basil and a half a teaspoon of dried oregano. You put this all together, and it becomes a beautiful color, which I'm going to show you in just a second. And just let that juice again kind of evaporate off. You can put this into the refrigerator, it will last a week. You can serve it warm or a little on the cooler or um, the side of just being um, room temperature. And you serve it on crostini. There's also the recipe for crostini in the balsamic tomato bruschetta recipe from accommodatingtable.com. So enjoy your guests, enjoy this recipe for an appetizer, and I'm Marla, until next time. Mmm, fabulous, come over, you've got to try this. See you soon.